Hey guys, welcome to the children's lesson. I hope you had a wonderful 4th of July. I hope you had lots of safe fun and got to see lots of really neat things. Joining me today, we're a little late, sorry we had to get settled with him, is my son Titus. He was encouraged by pastor's message and wants to be a part of this one too. So Titus, everybody, Please feel free to um, comment, to answer questions, to type below so that we can interact with each other. And I hope that you have a lot of fun and learn a lot. And if you're not watching this live, please feel free to comment later and we can respond to you later too. So we're gonna start off kind of with a review of last week. We talked about the 10 commandments that God gave to Moses on the tablets. Oh no. Let's see, can you count to 10? <laughs> so. Here is Moses with the Ten Commandments that God gave him. And so those are very important things that remember we talked about God gave them to Moses because if we obey them, our lives are a lot easier and um, we can receive God's blessings better. And we obey them because we love God and we want to show God our love. So we're going to talk a little bit more about why it's important to obey. So let's play a fun game. So wherever you are, if you could stand up. Let's, I'm gonna sing a song. I was gonna play the music on my phone and then I realized I can't do that if I'm recording. So I'm gonna sing our fun song that we always sing together on Sunday mornings in class. And Titus is gonna dance around and when I stop singing, he's gonna freeze. It's called Freeze Dance, ready? Okay. <laughs> um, and it goes, there is no one like you. There ha Did you freeze? Never, ever been anyone like... Good job! <laughs> like you, there is no one... Oh, you got to get better at freezing. <laughs> we got Titus. We got Titus. Let's try one more time. There has never, ever been anyone. Good job. That was better. How'd you guys do? Did you freeze in time? It's important to listen, right? So you can play that game. So that's why obeying is important because then you can have a lot more fun. So let's see. We talked about laws, and we talked about the importance of obeying laws last week. So if you're listening, or Titus, have you ever broken a rule or a law? We've, everybody's made mistakes. We've all, we've all probably broken quite a few rules or not obeyed right away. That's kind of like, a law that your parents make. So what have you done? Do you feel like you could share or do you not want to share? Hmm, let's see. I know sometimes I find myself breaking the traffic laws because I speed on accident. Hmm, it's sometimes hard to pay attention. And so that's definitely something that I struggle with. Maybe you've lied before. Maybe you've lying stolen. Does, everybody's lying. Yeah, but does it please God? No. No. Don't lie, kids. <laughs> and um, maybe you've stolen candy from the grocery store or um, a friend house that you were at. Maybe you stole a toy you really wanted from his house or some candy you really wanted from his house. All of those things are breaking um, laws and rules that our parents or our government has set up for us. So um, we're gonna talk about how everybody um, sins, everybody breaks laws, but you know what's important to remember is that God loves you and that when you ask Jesus to forgive you, that's why God sent Jesus, partly so that we could all be forgiven of our sins and God doesn't remember them anymore. God forgets about the sins that we have done when we say we're sorry, God, Jesus, please forgive us. That's what God does for us. He died on the cross to forgive our sins. Yep. So you don't have to be upset if you've broken the law, but let's get better at obeying. So that's what we're going to talk about today. How, how do we get better at obeying? So practicing. <laughs> that is a great idea, Ty. Um, 
Let's open with another fun activity. So we're gonna play a clapping game to help you hone in, help you really get good at obeying. So it's gonna start out easy, but then it's gonna get harder. So what your job is, is to clap or make a movement exactly like I do. And the better you are at it, the more fun we can have by doing more things. So ready, here's your first one. See if you can obey exactly right, ready? Well, you can't do it because you don't know what I'm doing yet. Now you do it, what did I do? Did you listen right? Good, sit up a little better so they can see if you listened right. How about you guys, did you clap right? Let's try again. No, you can't do it yet. <laughs> you don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Ready? Good. What about? Almost, you did a different shoulder than me. Wow. But that was pretty good. What about? Nice. How about you? Are you guys doing good? That one was hard. What about? That one's silly. Oh, you didn't switch hands. <laughs> oh, no. So that was super fun, guys. Thank you so much for playing that game with us. And that's a game that you can play with your friends and you can play with your family everywhere that you go. That's a really fun game to see if your friends can do that. So let's get to our sharing time. Titus, you can tell me, what things do you like to listen to? I like to listen to music. And I especially like to listen to pastors' prayers because sometimes they're really encouraging. Yeah. And if anybody else is watching, what do you like to listen to? I know I like to listen to my kids' stories. Mm -hmm. And I like to listen to funny jokes. I like to li listen to lots of funny things. Who do you listen to? I listen, I try to listen to God even though you can't hear him like somebody would talk out loud but you listen really hard from your heart god lives in your heart and i also like to listen to my parents because if you don't listen you're gonna get in trouble because you're ignoring your parents and yep. that's not a good thing yeah you might also listen to your friends maybe your friends have some really good advice or you just like to listen to your friends stories you might listen to your grandma and grandpas and your aunts and uncles. All those kind of people speak into our lives. So let's get to our Bible lesson, which today comes from our Bible. There's my Bible in the book of Deuteronomy. It's backwards. But this is where we find what happened with Moses and the Ten Commandments. So where is my Moses? Here he is. I think my Moses is starting to fall apart. So we'll see if he can hold on to his Ten Commandments again. I have a Moses. Okay, there he is. So this is Moses. And these people are the Israelites. Remember, the Israelites were the people that God chose to come and be his people. Pastor talked about that today in his sermon. Moses was leading the Israelites and God had led them across the Red Sea. He parted the Red Sea to keep them safe and lead them through the Red Sea. God had sent his presence down to them and now God had some things he wanted to teach them so that they could live better lives and those were the things on the Ten Commandments. One of the things God says is that he wanted the parents to teach these rules to their children. Sometimes they're very young and children just aren't aware of what's happening. So he said, parents, teach my laws and my love to your children and your children's children and pass them on. So parents are to teach their children about God. Um, one day, Moses said, all the Israelites come together there were millions of them, so many, so many. And he said, I can't come even count together. To a, I can't count to a million. And I'm big and, and I'm big and I'm 
eight. I don't want to count to a million either. That would take all day. No thanks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Moses said, listen up, everybody. Let's see you're listening. Listen up, everybody. There was a lot of people to talk to, and he didn't have a microphone. So everybody had to be very quiet and listen to what Moses had to say to them. He said, love the Lord your God with all your heart. Soul, mind, and strength. Yes, we're going to get to that. Let's make a heart with our hands, though. Can you help me, Ty? Hold up so they can see. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your strength. Let's see your muscles, guys. Love God with all your strength, everything within you from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. And love the Lord your God with um. everything inside of you. Serve him and obey him. That's what Moses told the people. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, your mind, your strength, your soul, everything inside of you. He said everything inside of you. And people even as small as me and as small as you have millions of blood cells inside of you. That is in you. Yep. And love God with all your blood cells. <laughs> and all your other cells. Your white blood cells and too. Then, and you can love him by donating your blood to others in need. Yes, if you are old enough and you have all the right conditions, it is absolutely wonderful to donate your precious blood to those who need it. God's word says that our blood is, is life-giving, just like the blood of Jesus and our physical blood is life-giving too. So then Moses said, here's all the things you need to do. Love God. And then Moses said directly to the parent, he said, Go and teach your children, mothers and fathers, all that I have taught you. Teach them to love God and to love his rules. Teach them to love God with all their hearts and everything they have inside of them. Teach them to listen to God's word. The mothers and fathers gathered all their children together. They had lots of kids, lots of people. And they taught the children to love God with all their heart. Ready, Ty? Love, love God, God with all your heart. heart. Sorry, I dropped my book. <laughs> I'm going to help you. And the parents taught the children to serve and obey God so that as the parents grew old and the kids got to be adults, God's word and God's light would continue to shine through the Israelites for thousands of years as it does now. It's in the commandments to love your God. Yes. So we can listen to God's word. Let's see, Ty. And do what it says because we love God with all of our heart. God says to love your parents. Yes. To obey your parents too. Yes. So... What did Moses tell the people about God's word? So you can type it below, but Titus, what did God's what did Moses tell the people about God's word? Um he, I don't really know. To one. obey it? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, to read it and obey it. Some of these questions are pretty hard, and that's okay. That's okay. So what did the uh, Moses tell the mothers and fathers to do to their children? To tell them to worship your God with all your heart. Yeah, that's right. Why do you think it's important to listen to God's word? And you guys can answer below. Um, so you can know what he has for your future. Yes. So he can bless you because you're doing the right thing and you're listening to him. And then that sets up your life for wonderful blessings because you're not getting into trouble or mischief. Mm -hmm. Yep. When we listen to God, it opens up our hearts and our lives for lots of blessing. So it's very important that we listen to the Bible. The Bible. So let's take a minute. Do you have a Bible? Some of you may not. So please let me know in the comments below if you do not. Now you might have an adult Bible like this with lots of teeny tiny words. And that's great. Parents, you can read this to your kids every day or every week. You can make it a habit. But you also might have a children's Bible. 
Now, these are not the exact words of scripture, but they help children understand the lessons that God wants to teach them in the Bible. Now, if you recall, about a year ago, we had a big book drive, and we gave away hundreds, I think, two or three hundred books I to the children in our church. Um, and hopefully some of you got some Christian books from that. I tried to make sure. Um, but if you do not have a children's Bible or a regular Bible, please let us know so we can make sure that we get those to you. Since last year, we've gotten a few more books and definitely not that many. But we should be able to have a few Bibles that we can give away. And sometimes when our kids graduate from the kindergarten and go up to Mr. Roy's class in first grade, we try to send them off with a children's Bible. Um, so, But in the meantime, until that happens, please let me know and we will for sure... Get God's word into your hands because that is so important. So please let me know so we can make sure that you have God's word so that you can feed your spirit. It says, parents, teach your children God's word. And we can't do that if we don't have it, right? So we want to make sure to get that into your hands. So we have a memory verse. Now, if you remember and you've been watching these lessons, here's the three that we've already done in this whole quarantine time. We did, God is love, God is love. And we also did, always try to be kind, be kind, be kind. So we have a new one today. And it's to the song Kookaburra, which is not a song that I know. And so I'm just gonna do my best because I tried to listen to it online, but it's not a song I know, so. Our memory verse is love the Lord your God with all your heart. Matthew 22, 37. And so we're going to work on this together for the next few weeks. Love the Lord your God with all your heart. So let's get our song ready. It goes like this. Love the Lord your God with all your heart. <clears throat> Not a singer, remember. But we can all praise God with our voice. Love the Lord your God with all your heart. Love the Lord your God with all your heart. Matthew twenty two thirty seven. Love the Lord your God. I don't know if that goes to the song, song Kookaburra, but if you can just get Love the Lord your God with all your heart stuck in your head, you'll be great for the week to remember our lesson and to remember to show love in all that you do to God by obeying his commands and sharing light and hope and kindness with others. So let's sing it one more time together. Love the Lord your God with all your heart. Ready? Love the Lord your God with all your heart. Love the Lord your God with all your heart. So, pack, practice that. I'm going to include in the comments below our um, summary sheet. So, parents, you can have the summary of the lesson and lots of fun activities. And at the bottom, it has the memory verse. So, you guys can work on that all week long. But let's go over some fun things you can do during the week while we're not together so that you can be learning to obey better. And when you're tempted to disobey and steal that candy or tell that lie and get out of trouble, you can remember that to God, it's more important that you obey and that he wants you to obey your parents. So some of the things you can do, of course, is reading your Bible. Parents, you can read the Bible to your children. If your children are reading themselves, they can read their own children's Bible or the real Bible. Make it a part of maybe before dinner or after dinner or um, sometime around lunchtime. Um, making it a habit or before bed is such a great habit to get into. Putting God's word in your heart. There is nothing more pure and more true than putting God's word in your heart to keep you strong and faithful and concentrated on God's goodness. I had a habit of reading the Bible before bedtime. Yeah, we got to get back into that, don't we? Yep. Another thing you can do to hide God's word in your heart is to watch videos. There's Adventures in Odyssey, um, there's Veggie Tales, and just search the internet for lots of really great Christian videos that teach God's word. You can listen to Christian music, whether that's Air One or K-Love. Um, I think there's several other Christian radio stations or just 
you know, ask your phone or Alexa or whatever you might have to play Christian music and continue to hide God's word in your heart wherever you are, cleaning up, eating lunch, get God's word and his truth. We are trying to always play Christian music in our home so that we can keep our hearts and minds focused on God and his love. Um, another thing you can do is read this to your kids and get that, get his word hidden in your heart there. Um, but something fun you can do is to pretend that you have your own Sunday school like this and you can set up a table and you can set up all your stuffed animals in a circle and you can teach your stuffed animals or your siblings a Bible lesson. So after you've read your That's Bible or after you listen to some of these messages, you can teach your stuffed animals or your dolls or your friends or your siblings a Bible lesson too. Wouldn't that be fantastic? That, that is sounds, a good idea. Yeah, so much fun. You can even get a Bible out and teach it to them. You can make some drawings and have your own little, see if I can get that to show. Have your own little drawings for them just like I hold up. So Rosie drew this one. So there's lots of fun things you can do to put God's word in your heart and to learn to share God's word with others. So I hope that you have a fantastic week. I'm not sure if we'll be here next Sunday for another children's lesson because my family will be joining some other family of ours in on a little vacation. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to get enough reception to do a lesson. So, um, but if not, I will see you in a couple of weeks. I am always here by messaging me below. I love you very much and I'm gonna pray for you now. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray that you would bless all of our little ones. I pray that you would give them and their families the strength to hide your word in their heart, to read the Bible, to study the scriptures, to learn the lessons, and to know that there is nothing more wonderful than hiding your word in their heart so that they can learn and grow in the most purest way. And I pray that you will help us in those moments where we aren't sure if we're ready to obey to remember that we can show love to you by obeying and that we are blessed in our obedience more than we can ever understand. Help us to love you with all our heart and bless and keep each one of our little ones safe this week. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I love you guys. We'll see you later. Bye.